Okay, what up, what up? It's the Groovy Guru, and here's the beginning of the story. My, It's my turn to go to Merida. Um, where in the hell do I start? So I got on a bus to... Where in the hell does it start? Okay, flight was good. Flight was good. For the first time, I sat in the front row, in the front of a flight on Southwest. I took Southwest down there. 60 in the back, look up, see your numbers, squeeze in, help each other out, look at each other's boarding cards, whatever it takes to get you guys in. Um, direct flight, only two and a half hours. So I was all excited to get my tickets and everything. I'm right there, I got the app. I even had my computer and everything to, um, to, get get in the B section at least. So the app it's ready. 115 my flight was going out. As soon as 115 hit, I clicked the button and to see where I got and they put me in group C. So I'm like, man, there's a lot of damn people going to Cancun. Sorry, I went to Cancun first and then I'm and then I'm going to Merida from Cancun. And I'm like, damn, they put me in group C. And I was like, F that man, I'm upgrading my seat. So it was only $30, so, and I paid for my flight. My flight was free because I do the miles thing with the credit cards and stuff. So the flight was free, so 30 bucks, and, it, and they got me in A2 and then A3. I guess it was because that couple that was in front of me. Best experience ever. I was on, I, I, I was listening to an audio book sitting in the front, all that leg room, and I dozed off for a second. And next thing you know, when I opened my eyes, I was flying over the ocean already. The front was so smooth, I didn't even know we took off. Okay, anyways, we land. I'm in Cancun. Cool. And going through the airport and a lot of Asian, I saw a lot of, a lot of Asian girls were, were staring with no mercy. They were just like staring. I was like, damn, I guess they maybe they didn't see like black people in their country or something. And so anyway, so I'm like, okay, cause I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm here to, I'm on the exodus like everybody else and seeing if it's where I want to be. So whole girl looks at me, man. This girl looks at me, man. Like, like you can tell she was like another passport bro, which is not true. This is the, the security or whoever looked at me and gave me a stamp, no mercy. I looked at that stamp and it was like 180 days. I'm like, damn. Okay, and so we, so now I'm at, so now I'm, I, I get my, I can't speak any English. I got this translator thing and I catch, I get my bus. I, I get a bus to, um, I guess I heard there was a free shuttle. So I asked the lady at the Addo line, you know, is there, I heard there's a shuttle and she's all, no, you got to take this and go downtown Cancun and go from there. All right, cool. So nice experience is good. Everything's going smooth and we get on the we get on the bus and I have my little DVD collection. I'm watching The Black Knight with Martin Lawrence. I'm watching The Black Knight. Love that movie. In the middle of the trip, like right when The Black Knight, you know, they got the air conditioning on and when the, as soon as the air conditioning hit, my nose got stuffed up, but my nose got messed up as soon as the AC hit, man. And like, I, I put on a mask to give me some um, humidity. And now I'm like sniffling, you know, I'm like having to blow my nose and stuff. Okay, long story short, black night's over. It's nighttime. And um, there's no lights on these buses, man. And I, I, took, I took the ghetto at all because I didn't want to wait longer to meet my connection. So I could have took the, the black bus, the better one, which is a beautiful bus. And, um, but I took the ghetto bus, man, the red ghetto bus. And there was no lights. We're going over all these bumps. And I, and I tried to hold my, my, my bladder and I had to go to the bathroom. So I took my backpack, got up, went to the bathroom and it's rocking everywhere. I go to the bathroom man. I find the bathroom in the dark. Then I'm in the bathroom in the dark. Usually the lights turn on when you open the door. I'm in the dark, man. And I have to use the bathroom. And, and the smell, homie, the, the smell hit me, man. You can imagine what the smell was like. I'm on, a, I'm on a Mexican bus. 
and it, and there's no air, there's no air conditioning in the bathroom, man. So I'm I'm back there, man, and I and I have to use the bathroom. I didn't I couldn't lock the door because I couldn't find it. So I was hoping that no one came in. I'm using the bathroom, and the smell hit me so bad, I almost like threw up, man. It was nasty. And not only that, when you think about it, the bus is rocking, so it was mixing all that stuff around, man. And it hit me, and it was warm. And it's messed up because, like, for I don't know whoever if you've seen the Black Knight. Remember the scene where he goes in the, you know, I gotta use the drain the anaconda, and I got you know the privy, and then he looks on there, and there's like all that shit on there. Yo, did you see that shit? Ah, got to go. Got to. that shit on there yo did you see that shit dude i thought of the same scene and i'm like this is messed up because this is like i said this is called the spiritual side of merida i'm supposed to be seeing only really the positives of this you know um not is uh, there's not many people where i see like speak more of the positives and stuff and i'm, I'm that's how i'm designed I, I i travel all the time and i'm designed to like let me just like see the spiritual side you know like do these trees talk and is that lizard hanging out with me? That type of stuff. That's where I'm on down here. So my spirit, my spirit guides are in, involved. I got seven um, women advisors who are on, who are, they're not here, but they're, they're working from different places, Armenia and stuff like that. They're down here. And, and I got my spirit guides. And as soon as I smelt that, like, as soon as I smelt that smell and that shit, and I thought of the Martin episode, I was all like, man, my spirit guides, like, like, playing tricks again they always like doing shit like that i heard them laughing man they're like yeah we, let's put him in martin let's put him in the black knight since he likes that movie so much let's let him go in the bathroom and get the same experience and i came out same thing man it was it was horrible I almost threw up man now my smell is getting messed up i can still smell and so we stop and then my connection said you're you're i'm like i think we're pulling in and she said, uh, um, the internet, the online, it shows that you don't, you don't come yet. I'm like, I think we, I, I, we must've got here early. And she's like, okay, I bet I'll, I'll be right there. So I'm thinking I got there early and then I look at my phone and it was still on Florida time, man. So I'm thinking I'm on Florida time, man. I'm like, oh dude, okay, you are on time. So I pull in this bus, bus station and I didn't know like where I was, man. I, I went up to a security lady and said, like, um, do you uh, am I in Merida? You know, I'm like, am I in Merida? She didn't she didn't understand me. I had the translator thing and she's all this is Merida. I'm like, all right, cool. So then I learned like, you know, I'm, I, I'm telling my connection. She's all like, go on WhatsApp and, and put the location. I'm all damn, you can do that. And that was the dopest thing. I put my little location in WhatsApp and, and it went to her GPS. I'm six minutes out. I'll come pick you up. And that was dope, man. So I learned something. And then there, there was these puppies, man. There was a lady selling stuff. So I went and gave her all my change uh, just to help her out. And she had these puppies, man. The damn puppies were cute, man. And I knew I'm going to, I know, I know I'm going to run into some damn cute puppies or a cute cat. And, 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 and I, to, I told my um, companion at home, I'm like, yo, if you see me with a with a you might see me with a bag like like coming off the plane or something man because there might be a puppy or a cat in there so i gotta fight the puppism and so it was we got in there and she got her little yeah she got her chauffeur and stuff man and and it's hitting me like i'm like man this lady got a damn chauffeur but it's not the chauffeur like 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 you thinking in america's man where they got the nice big ass cars and stuff no the chauffeur's here just some regular driving a regular car no AC, nicest dude, man, nicest dude. I'm already liking people here. In fact, my trip started with, with I was at PSTSA, and the little Mexican girl, man, she finished using the thing to put the shoes in, and she came up to me and, and handed it to me and gave me this look, man. She was probably like eight years old. I don't know what she said, but it let me know the journey is about to be like brilliantly beautiful. That little girl, that face, man, just that little girl. She could have put it back over here, but she gave it to me in the face, you know, she was on the same plane I was going to be on or going to the same place. So I was like, okay, this is about to be cool. So far, everyone's like, cool. So we went, 
um, there was a Brazilian restaurant. She's all like, yo, my, 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 um, uh, the person picking me up, my connection. So let's, let's, let's do the Brazilian, you know, Brazilian thing. I'm all, I never had Brazilian, um, food before. And at first we weren't going to do it because, you know, it was, it was getting late. We were going to have Thai food. Then we pulled up to this Brazilian restaurant. I'm like, all right, cool. We had a buffet and stuff. And when we went in, man, you know, you, you know, we got the, the, this, this pretty girl, man, pr pretty. I don't know what she was, man. But I was like, like one of the things, you know, I'm like, I can't, like, what I like when I travel is mainly beauty. And that starts with like, I like, like I, I got a companion. She ain't tripping. I, I, I've been with this companion 33 years, but you know, they know I like beauty from women to nice, to, to architecture, to nice food to brotherly men. That's my thing. And I, I couldn't wait to see a, a, a beautiful Mexican, you know, like, like, or whatever you call down here, you can, whatever you want to, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm learning. And it, she was, she was this pretty girl, man, was the host at this Brazilian restaurant. And that started things off good. And, and my connections are like, go oh, take pictures of the, of the, of the buffet. We got, went up there. So now my nose is failing, man. I'm like, man, I'm at a Brazilian restaurant, dude. And I can't, I can smell it's still messed up from the bus and it's slowly going, man. And like, um, so I had to like, like to, and it was cool. I never had Brazilian before, man. And, and the, the, the servers or whatever were so eloquent, eloquent and cordials. Everyone was just so damn nice and they bring the food and, and, and you cut it off and, in my in my connection, man, she like dropping the Spanish on them and and teaching me how to do it. The the girl like my my, my connection remind me of a like a mobster, yo. But she's not she she not mean. She not ghetto. She like a mob who just like straight up in your face. And my connection is straight up in your face. She like a mobster, man. Like full of knowledge. I like people full of knowledge. So we talking and we chilling, and they're bringing all this food. I ate like ten meats, man, and it sucked because every time I ate a meat. I had to blow my nose so I can taste it. And um, there was at one point where, you know, they had these black, their their um, napkins were black. And what I was blowing my nose on was my own handkerchief. And I was, I was blowing my nose. She didn't see me that I was putting the handkerchief on my, on my knee. She thought, and she saw the, she saw their handkerchief. She thought I was blowing my nose on their handkerchief and putting it on the table. I'm like, homie, I'm like, man, I wouldn't do something like that. So anyways, that beautiful experience. And then we drove to my spot where I'm staying now. And um, this is where I'm staying now. And I had a choice to have a, a, as they might say, better looking one. But this is the spiritual side of Merida, right? So it was cozy versus big. And this is what I picked. I love it, man. So we're driving back. We're driving at night and we're going through South Central Central. I don't know where it is. I'm going to have to I'm have to I'm writing all this down. I'm trying to do a video. I'm trying to do a blog and trying to write this book. I'm a writer. You know, I, I do a lot. of I do a lot of shit. But, you know, like for this trip, I'm a writer. So I'm trying to do all this stuff. And I don't think I'm going to be able to even write all this stuff. It's too much. But wherever I was, the nightlife look dope man it, it looked dope i can't wait to my companion my companion's not here this time and i can't wait to bring my companion bring her here to check this out man it's like dope i'm going back to that like brazil restaurant and and, and i'm gonna take her all these places but the nightlife i miss mexico man i was in mexico a month ago in mexico city in hippodroma and went to caratro and when i saw the buildings ghetto buildings as you might as americans might think um I was like, damn, I miss Mexico. I told my connection, I miss Mexico, man. I mean, look at the realness. Look at the real people like on like side hustling at night. I, I, I miss that, man. Ain't no shit like that where I live in Florida. Not where I live, man. I, I'm in a I'm in a like like blessed area, man. It's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, but this I, I sometimes I just have to be around. That's that's why I, I'm trying to buy something. I'm going to buy something out here. Um, down here, like, like, like in the South, man, I'm even going more as today. We're going to go look at some stuff more South than where I am now. And, um, that's where I want to be. I don't, no one speaks English. I don't know shit myself. And, um, and that's it. 
But I like me driving at night and you see all these like ghetto ass buildings because I know inside these buildings look like, like, I know they look dope. She's all, there's an Airbnb there, there, there. I'm on the States. No one would stay in an Airbnb in, in, in an area like this. So a lot to learn for Americans, man. A lot of, but I'll get into that. Let's, let's stick with this because this is going to be crazy. I'm here for a month. Um, so we, we, we drop, we drop off. She, we went to a, a pharmacy and I'm hanging out with her chauffeur. He speaks a little English and cool as hell. I, I, he's just cool. I just like him, man. We just, we, he's just cool, man. I like him. I'm going to stay connected. I'm going to stay connected with him, man. And we come hang out at my place. She shows me my place. We hang out and, and she's all like, you know, so we got to go. It was late because he, he got kids. He got two kids. I'm like, oh, my boy driving around driving Miss Daisy and shit, and like, he got kids, man, I'm like, oh, homie, so I brought some, you know, I brought some Hot Wheels from America, you know, for kids down here, because I plan to go to an orphanage, that's what I do when I travel, and, but, you know, you just, you, you always bring some toys with you, because you might run into some kids, man, <coughs> sorry, so I have five Hot Wheels in my thing, and I'm like, yo, homie, let me, let me get you some, like, I got something for you for your kids. How old are they? Five and six and 12, six and five and 12. I gave him a couple Hot Wheels and, and his face, man, was like, he's staring at one of the cars, man. And, and one of them was like a Barracuda convertible. And I remember when I got him, I was like, like someone's kid, you know, someone's going to like this. He said that was his favorite car, man. And he's staring, man. You can, he's staring at the, he's staring at the, um, at the um, car, man, like, and he's looking at me, man, and, and, and he's trying to speak in English, his um, his emotion, but the face told it all. One thing about the spiritual side of Merida, one thing I noticed down here and what I was told is that there are, you, you need minimum words. There are minimum words you use here in, in Spanish that mean a whole sentence of shit. Like a dude said to me, um, if a panhandler or someone trying to sell something comes up to you, just say gracias. And I'm like, wow, usually I'd be like, no, thank you, this and that. They're like, nah, homeboys all just say gracias. It means thank you for what you do, your efforts. This shit is real. I like that. That's that's what I'm talking about. So he's sitting there and she translated, and you can see it, man, through my belief is like through reflection, uh like I, I don't exist. I I don't I'll get into that later. I, I don't exist. I don't believe the, the, the planet exists. I believe like and I just exist through people's reflection. Like, like I don't want to be like black, white, or none of that shit. I don't want to be judged by anything, dude. So I walk in people's reflection. I reflect what people see. Like, like, like usually you see my pictures, I usually have this ponytail here and I'm shape-shifting. Like I said in my last video, I'm shape-shifting for what they want to see. So he's, from what he looked at, man, I, I belong here. From how he looked at me and, and stared at those cars and because cause I was just being thoughtful, man, you know what I'm saying? And I, I'm good people, man. Just just because how my boy looked at me, then my, my connection, the way she looked at me, man, and they both looked at me, there was a silence, man. Like, like yeah, I saw my heart, man, some Grinch shit, you know, and, 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 and they're, they're, they're both like, he's meant to be here. So that's, that's day one. Um... Nose is all right, you know, I can breathe and all that good stuff, man, but I don't appreciate not being able to fully taste that beautiful food last night that I saw, man, that, that I, I'm going to have to go back. But, you know, that bus messed me up, and it, and planes do that shit to me, too. But this plane didn't do it where I sat. This plane was like like all that. Um, that was it. And my place. Today, I go... I don't know where in the hell I'm going. That's the thing. I don't know where I'm going, man. My my connection is, is sending me where I said send me where I'm supposed to go, and definitely supposed to like 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 see see a pyramid and this and that. So um, that's it. I'm out. That's called the Groovy Guru, and I'm out.